Good morning, good morning. How are we on this beautiful day? I'm Haley Frey Wilson and welcome to some live readings today. How are you doing? If you're in the Northern Hemisphere and you have children, how are you surviving uh, school holidays? Are you doing okay? Are you surviving? <laughs> We're nearly there. It's nearly fall. <laughs> As you're hopping on, please do let me know where you're tuning in from. And if you're watching the replay, just give me a hashtag replay. Hi, Davika. Hi, Toby. Hi, Karen. Hi, Carol. How are you? And so today, ooh, all right. <laughs> Hi, Hannah. Well, they just threw, oh, hey. <laughs> they just threw the first card out. Hannah in California. We're going to be going down to California shortly, aren't we, aren't we Hannah? And Karen is from London. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Karen, actually, I'm looking at a UK tour next year. And so I'm going to be announcing more of that as we go on. Um, but, and, oh, and Lydia's in California too. That's exciting. So I have actually thrown open and relaunched my in-person retreats, uh, VIP days, mini retreats, and I'm going to be doing group retreats as well. Before COVID, I was a, an adventure tourism business owner and I snuck in the spirituality in the back. <laughs> so I was taking families out to get reconnected to themselves and reconnected to the earth. Um, by going hiking and going whale watching and biking and all of these beautiful things and you weren't allowed to go on your screens and so I was sneaking in spirituality in the back door uh, and then when COVID hit I was like well I can't take people hiking and biking anymore let's just walk her out of the spiritual closet and just go full force into my spirituality and what you see before you is the uh, outcome of that so thank you COVID <laughs> How did we go? Hang on. Uh, Hannah says it would be all kinds of fun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, California. We're not going to have a problem finding people. <laughs> so today, the intention behind today was to speak to particularly people who have a spiritual business or would like to start a spiritual business. Um, but if the conversation goes in a different direction, then I'm totally fine with that. So here is the first card. So I'll be using my favorite deck of all time, the Starseed Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. Uh, and so the, the card that was flung out of the deck as we were sort of starting opening the session here was this one here. <clears throat> Lifting the veil. Whew. Questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. <laughs> this is a beautiful card. And if you have been experiencing a bit of a purge recently, right, if you have been tired, if you have been emotional, if you have been eating more than you would, if you've been drinking more than you would, if you've been like, you know, using those coping mechanisms, if you have, if, if old patterns have come up, put your hand up in the, in the comments if, if this is you. If, this, if, if over the last couple of kind of months or even weeks, You've started to just notice old things happening and you're like, oh, I thought that I'd healed that or I thought that that pattern had, had, you know, had gone. What we're doing is we're being invited to, to dig deeper, right, to, to get even deeper and peel off another layer. Karen's like, yep, that's me. <laughs> and, and really question again, right, because we do get to, oh, Hannah had a purge last night. Mm-hmm. We get to, in our healing um, voyage, our journey, right, we kind of, we do a big purge and we go through a dark night of the soul and then we find this ah, comfortable place of healing, right? <laughs> and then, you know, maybe we stop meditating quite so much and maybe we stop questioning things quite so much and maybe we just start to get triggered and we're like, well, I'm healed enough, It'll, whatever, <laughs> Right? Uh, and there's no judgment here, but that can that can happen. Or if we've if we think that we've learned enough information, right? And one or two, you know, big dog ideas like theories have really dropped in, and they're like, oh, they make so much sense. You find another comfort zone. And so, what happens when we start to have these big purges again? When old patterns start to come in, it's an invitation to start looking at things again. All right. 
why am I being triggered? Why are these patterns coming back? Why am I so emotional? Start doing the work again. Start, you know, drinking your water again. Start eating clean again. Like, you know, maybe, maybe looking at and healing the coping mechanisms, right? So that's, that's what I'm being shown <clears throat> in this card. And especially if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, and especially if you're a parent, it's summer, <laughs> right? It's, we, our kids are off school. We don't really have a lot of time, headspace, <laughs> right? To be setting aside an hour in the morning and an hour at the night to meditate. Like when I'm triggered by my kids, I'm getting triggered so much that I don't have the headspace or the time or the, you know, the, the, the energy sp space in my energy field to be like, oh, okay, I wonder what's happening here. Does that make sense? Am I like speaking your language? And I feel like I'm validating a lot of people because a lot of, we, we tend to get really hard and down on ourselves when we do know that we should be doing these things, but we don't have, logistically, we don't have the time, right? And I'm a very, 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 very practical spiritual mentor, okay? I don't really lean into the spiritual dogma that much because if it doesn't actually help your life, then what's the fucking point? <laughs> right? So I saw, I'm going to give an example. I saw someone who was having a really hard time because she wants to find love. Okay? She is just like, oh, I desire a partner, someone to walk this earth, a companion, someone to share my life with, and I can't find it. And all, <laughs> and all I keep, so, so, and she posted this in a group, right? And everyone was just like, oh, you just have to love yourself more and then you'll find your partner, right? And she was like, yeah, I keep getting told that and I do love myself and right, like, and, I, and I do the work and I'm doing the work and yet this person still, you know, like I still desire this connection. I love myself. I love myself. But I still am, I'm still a bit, a bit lonely. I'm alone and I, and I would desire a partner. I desire connection, okay? And then the next thing that she hears is, well, we're all one anyway, <laughs> while while the idea that we are all one is helpful sometimes the idea that we're all one okay is helpful when you are comparing yourself to someone else exactly um for example um if you're in business, right, and you keep getting triggered because other people are having success and you're not, and you're being triggered and you're like going a dark into a dark spiral because of that, the idea that we are one is super helpful because you're like, oh, her success is my success. So then you can kind of integrate that there is no such thing as competition and it's all collaboration and then you raise your frequency right and then you start manifesting the same the same uh cell of uh, success that that person does that's how that works okay when someone is de so desiring a partner and wants connection the dogma that we're all one anyway is so like you know it's so what do they call it you're 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 dismissing that human emotion and that is not helpful in a practical sense okay humans desire we're social creatures and we desire connection okay so um i don't know how i got down this rant <laughs> okay <laughs> right so i was just saying <laughs> I was just all I was saying here is that we get to live our normal life and our spiritual life at the same time. Okay, I was asked the other day because I travel. Like my my life is is full. Okay, I travel a lot. I have a child. I have a business. I I live in two different locations on the earth, and I'm traveling always back and forwards. And I'm always you know I'm always on the go. And someone said, "How do you make time for your spiritual life?" And I was like, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? My life is my spiritual life. I don't understand if, how life could be not spiritual. Ha! My chicken just came to say hi. Hello, hi chicky. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> and so practical spiritualism, I think, is apparently the, the topic of the day. Um, because yeah, you get to live your life and be a parent and be a business owner and go to work and pay your taxes and, and live in the matrix and be spiritual. Is that helpful? <laughs> I don't quite.
don't know how I got down that little alley, <laughs> but I but I got there in the in the end. <laughs> okay, so the the card that was opening up. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the card that I was opening up was lifting the veil, questioning everything and anything unaligned must go. Okay, so the invitation, the invitation here is <sighs> the invitation is to how can we live our life, right? As a spiritual being, right? How can we live our practical third dimensional life and as an energetic being at the same time? Okay. Can you question in the moment? Can you start to put those two halves together? Okay. I'm a parent and I'm a mother. I'm going to work and I'm a spiritual being. Like, can we manifest that all at the same time? And so can we, can we in a moment to moment moment, right? Rather than having to like, okay, log that I got triggered and then I have to go and do the work and then, okay, I understand it and then move it along. Can we, how can we start manifesting that healing in an automatic, instantaneous, spontaneous fashion? I like that. It's pretty cool. I'm going to make notes because <laughs> you guys inspire me. So Toby says, it makes sense. A human being is not an energy frequency of prosperity of manifestation. They are unique, caring, love and giving energy with love and jokes and experience. Absolutely. We are all completely unique, actually. <laughs> so this dogma that we are all one. Okay. It's true to a point. <laughs> and then it's not true. And then it becomes true again. Okay. This is how kind of, this is how healing works. Because the idea that we're all one helps you, yeah, understand that um, that we're that that we're not separate from each other, right? Separation. But then you heal that, and then you realize that we came to the third dimension to experience separation. And then you're like, well, we're not all one. Actually, we are really separate. We are all very, very unique. Our soul signature frequencies are completely different than everyone else's because they have to be. Because we are all sending back information to source, universe, God, right? And yes, we are all one. We are all a splinter of one, definitely. But we are all a completely different, unique splinter of one. So are we all one? <laughs> and so that's why, let's see. Okay, this leads me into, hi Sharon, this leads me into what I was going to be talking about if you're a spiritual entrepreneur. Oh, do I want to go down that route? Okay. Mm. Fine. All I want to say, hey Sharon, all I want to say to spiritual entrepreneurs and mentors is please don't get stuck in the dogma, right? The fact that we are all one helped you so much, right? It is, it is now like a part of you. We're all one. We're all one. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to help everyone, right? You, ha you get to be human as well as we're all one. <laughs> we get, you get to live in polarity, in, du in du um, duality and in separation because the third dimension is separation. <laughs> and we've all been fucked up by that. We, we all have trauma because of that. As soon as we left source and became unique, separation anxiety. Okay. The original trauma of separation is when we left source. Okay. <laughs> but we came to humanity to heal that. <laughs> and so, yeah. And so all I'm saying, right, is... Because that helped you so much um, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to help everyone. So we get to <clears throat> learn more and more and more and more and, and dive into your own uh, into your own theories. Start developing your own ideas and your own theories and channeling your ascended masters okay, to bring back the information. And the more information we can hold as spiritual mentors, right, when we're presented with someone, we're like, okay, you need that little bit. No, you don't need that. Okay, how about this? Can I show you this from a different perspective? And here's the thing, right? Because we are all a piece of one, <laughs> that's, that's more true. 
Okay, we all have, because we're all a splinter of one, <clears throat> we all have a really, really unique perspective. Okay, so what we get to do as spiritual mentors is collect information from all of those perspectives, right? And that's what connecting with your spirit guides and your ancestors and your angels and, you know, your ascended masters is all about, gaining new perspectives so that when someone comes at you with a question or a problem, you're like, okay, how about this perspective? No. How about that one? How about that one? And then how about, and then how about that one? And then the moment oh, it drops in for that person, right? Then you've done your job. Not by pushing spiritual dogma at them until they're like, well, no, no. And if someone's like, no, that doesn't make sense for me. Yelling at it louder isn't going to help, <laughs> right? It's, it's like going to a foreign country and speaking English and then them being not understanding and then yelling it louder. It's obnoxious. Don't do it. <laughs> wow. Haley has some opinions today. <laughs> Hi, Victoria. Okay, well, I'm spicy. I have opinions. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> has that helped anyone? Has that kind of, has that gave, given anyone a bit of like a, yeah, validated, like, I'd love, I'd love to know your opinion on, because I mean, I'm talking to someone here. <laughs> I'm just, I'm channeling for someone. I just don't know who it is at this moment. <laughs> okay, Leah just clicked on and you must have been calling for me dead on. Hannah, oof, I do that a lot at night, but I prefer to start my day off before the kids wake up. But that's just not the cards for me right this, in this season. Exactly. <laughs> we, we're, we're humans and spiritual beings. It's the same thing. Okay. So this is the time where everyone's like, okay, well, Haley's just been on a rant. Can I ask for a card now? <laughs> if you have any questions. <laughs> okay, Tovi, thank you, my love. Huge for Tovi and her and her teen at the moment, okay? So I'm not just talking about spiritual mentors and, and, and the market or, or coaching or anything like that. It, it, it's how you speak to, right, okay, thank you, Tovi. When we have awoken and we are surrounded by people who haven't awoken, right? And we're trying to teach them things, right? And you get resistance. It's, it's because you're, you're being so mm, inflexible. Okay. So it's the same frequency as yelling at people louder. Okay. Like we're one mom. Don't you get it? Jody says delivery matters. Absolutely delivery matters. And 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 having enough information and perspectives to change. Salespeople do this all the time, okay? They're trying to tell you something, that you need something, okay? And they're like, okay, it's not getting through. I'm going to pivot. How about this? Pivot. How about that? How about that? Got me. Now I want your thing because now you get me, right? It's not about you at all. It's about them. <laughs> Okay. And so, yeah, so delivering, I mean, it doesn't have to be spiritual, right? It can be talking to your child or talking to your spouse, talking to your ex spouse. Oh, spicy. <laughs> talking to, and communication is really all this is, right, Rachel? Um, and yeah, so a lot of people, I see a lot of people get frustrated when the people around them aren't listening to them when they're like, when they've, when they've read a Joe Dispenza book and they're like, oh, you know, something, <clears throat> like they get something. Let's keep on with the, all, we, we're all one, right? And that doesn't resonate with the people around them. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, it's communication, right? And so, here's another thing. We, as spiritual beings, can feel, okay, how that person is reacting if we allow ourselves, if we heal our empathy enough to actually like uh, uh, to, to feel how they're feeling and salespeople do this all the time too, right? If they're talking at you and you're like, no, and they're like reading your body language, they're feeling your energy, they change their tone, right? It's good cop, bad cop. <laughs> it, it, this isn't like, this isn't new information it, and it's not manipulation. Yes. People have used it for manipulation, but it's actually, how can I get through to connect and actually have this human connection with someone? Because going back to that person 
who desired the human connection, but she was feeling so alone, right? She wants human connection, and that's what we all actually want. When you go to, you know, some friends and family, and you want to share something with them, you're actually you you're you're wanting to open up the doorways of connection with that person, and on a really like on a soul level, that's what we want when we wake up, <laughs> right? See me, and I want to see you too. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> too far out. I'm going on a little few, like lots of different tangents here, but I'm 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 trusting that it's dropping in as you need it. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. So that's what I'm kind of doing right now, right? Uh, I, I'm I'm coming at you with lots of different angles and ideas, and I'm trusting that you're taking a piece from there and a piece from there and a piece from there, and then like, oh, I get what she's saying. <laughs> so you don't have to be a spiritual entrepreneur or a parent. Um, uh, to, to understand what I'm saying. Thank you for this conversation. Lovely. Do you have any questions about what I just said? Uh, would you like a card? Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions in general? You're so welcome. Hi, Victoria. General guidance, sure. <laughs> you haven't had enough general guidance from what I just said. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. So the first, the first card that we pulled was question anything and anything unaligned must go. <laughs> Uh, Leah said, yeah, it was dead on, but now I want more. More. <laughs> oh, I'm in a, uh, I'm in a fun mood today. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Here's some more general guys. <laughs> I have too much fun with you guys. I really do. Okay. It's a new <laughs> It's a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. All right. Let, can we have some general guidance for Leah, please? <laughs> mm, okay. Coming back down. <laughs> okay. Leah. Fabulous. <sighs> Leah, what I'm feeling. <laughs> I know. Leah, what I'm feeling for you, okay? Ah, fabulous. Thank you. The first card that we pulled was question anything, anything unaligned must go. And what that was uh, indicating to me was that we've we've started to kind of lose focus, right? We've started to lose focus on our spiritual life and we're kind of focusing more on our 3D life, okay? And we've started to like maybe doubt, you know, like, maybe was I, was I not so high frequency? Maybe I, was I really enlightened? Did I really wake up? Was that all really a dream? Like, you know, we've kind of, we've, we've, we've become so comfortable. And here's the thing, you haven't gone backwards at all. Mm -mm. You've just become so comfortable with your next layer of healing that you're questioning, you know, right? If you try and, if you try and think back, to how it was was before you probably can't really remember yeah maybe it was worse but i think it was the same people ask me that all the time like when i was living on the street and trigger warning i had like i suffered um, you know drug addiction and, and homelessness and and sexual abuse and like i i went through like bleh, lots of crappy stuff i cannot connect in with that anymore i can't, just can't do it and so I like talk about it in a really like, yeah, homelessness and drug addiction and, and sexual abuse and, and eating disorders and <laughs> people are like, how can you be so crass about it? It's just that I'd, I'm so comfortable with my layer and level of, of healing now that like, I don't, I don't connect in with that anymore. So <clears throat> for you, Leah, what they're saying is like, you haven't gone backwards. So, this is for everyone. You haven't been sliding back. That's it. I, I, I can just end the show now. <laughs> you haven't been sliding back. All you've done is become so comfortable in this layer of healing. Okay. The invitation is, is like, can we 
can we dig in again? Are you ready to dig in again? And so this card for you, Leah, is indicating that for me because you started to like, when you were like in the, 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 the dirt of it, when you were digging up, right? And you were doing the, the work actively, you were fo like, new earth was a thing. You were like, yes, it's coming, it's happening. Um, like we're all here to ascend and we're ascending to the fifth dimension and it's happening and we're doing it and we're breaking free of the matrix and all of these things, right? And then you get comfortable. <laughs> so the invitation is, right, is, and what I'm hearing is, is new earth coming or is this it? Have, have, is this it? Is this going to be it for the rest of, is this it now? Have we stopped evolving? Has ascension stopped? Has everything stopped? And the answer is no. <laughs> Number one, because humans don't control it. <laughs> Gaia controls it. And we are avatars of Gaia, and so we, we, are, we influence it, but we don't control it. Okay, so, right? If you can trust, hang on. If you can trust that gravity, okay, and here's where trust comes in for me. If you trust that you can sit on a, on, on a chair and your butt is going to stick to that chair because of gravity, use that trust. I have, there's no cell in my body, there's no aspect of myself that doesn't believe that gravity is going to keep me stuck to this chair. Okay? Use that same to copy paste that Gaia and New Earth is happening. <laughs> like the ascension of Gaia. And human evolution and new earth, I actually like to call it higher earth, is happening. So can we refocus on that vision? That's the question. That's the invitation. Leah says, oh, yeah. The past year, I was a level up in 3D materials. I started to feel disconnected. And lately, I've had to make time to get connected. Everything is spot on. Perfect. Is that helpful for anyone else? There's, there's, some, there's someone else. If you have a question, just ask it. <laughs> Let me see. And, okay, cool. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Fabulous. So the, now they want me to talk to you about, right? So the time is to, again, is to focus on your vision of higher earth, new earth, right? Of, of ascension, of human evolution, right? Remember that Remember that feeling of like, ah, oh, that urge and like the, the passion that you had, right? They're inviting you to bring that back. And so I'm running a program called Mission Mapping in the Fall. Okay, it's always available, actually. It's just that um, I have been enjoying my summer and I've been doing my own thing and like kind of mentoring less than I would when the kids are at the school that's fine and so in the fall i'm going to be i'm going to be refocusing on bringing people through and doing my mentoring <laughs> because i've just been enjoying myself naked outside i'm allowed to <laughs> so let me just see so yeah mission mapping is a beautiful invitation to refocus on connecting to your ascended masters why because you have already ascended <laughs> Okay, you've already gone through the Ascension uh, experience mm -hmm. as a Pleiadian, as an Arcturian, as a Mintakin, as an Andromedan, as a Syrian, as a Lyran, uh, you know, you've already been through it. Your soul has already been through Ascension. And so what we're going to do is we're going to connect in with these versions of self, communicate with them, understand how we did it back then. Mm. Back then is the human talk. It's fine. <laughs> how we've done it before in the past and then how we're going to, what structures, what are we going to bring down? What information are we going to start sharing? Okay. Right. Because we are all a part of this source, right? You have actually, you have access to your human perspective. Yep. We have access to all of your human past life perspectives. Yep. We also have uh, access to all of your Andromedan pr perspectives, your uh, your your el uh, elemental perspectives, your angelic perspectives, your Atlantean perspectives. You actually have access. You have access to a lot of different perspectives, right? And so, if your if your purpose was to come to participate in human evolution and ascension, which, by the way, it was, 
It's just how, right? We all have the same purpose. Purpose isn't this mystical, magical secret. We all came to participate in Ascension. <laughs> it's just how are you going to do it? How are you going to talk to people? Like, how are you going to change the structure of the matrix? How are you going to help people grow? How are you going to, how are you, how do you bring change, right? And that's what mission mapping is about. How are you going to do it? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and how are you going to do it? So I'm, I'm about monetizing gifts, okay, <laughs> right? I say use your gifts to create abundance, it's a no-brainer for me, um, and so if that's something that you would like to do, and like I said, like live your 3D life and your spiritual life together at the same time, like I do, right? find your voice. Exactly. I did a post on this um, a couple of days ago. I have a client who's going through mission mapping, and she found her voice, and the moment, here, let me just feel, feel in me. If you're even interested slightly in becoming a spiritual entrepreneur or a healer or a mentor or a coach or anything, the moment where someone realizes who they are, the moment someone is, has, has been seen by you and is validated by you is, I would pay you for that. <laughs> I'm not gonna, but I would. That's why I'm a spiritual, that's why I do what I do, right? For that moment of someone being like, they get it. <laughs> right? And that's actually what we all want. When we are yelling spiritual dogma at someone, it's because we want them to understand so much. We want to shake them, right? Understand because I want you to have that aha moment that I had. It's just how, right? This is, that, this is what we all, we've been talking about this whole time. How can you talk to someone... And everyone's different, right? So everyone needs to be spoken at in a different way. How can we help them understand and have that aha moment? How are you going to do it? It's not by regurgitating spiritual dogma. I promise you that's not. It's not by screaming at someone louder and louder. It's by sitting back, using your gifts, understanding that person's experience, taking information from right your store of information and then coming at them in a different way that they're going to understand i feel like i feel like i've just things have happened now because that's what i right because that's what i do for a living what i do for a living is i <laughs> process a lot of data from humans and i i recover information that i have forgotten from my ascended masters and all over the universe right so I, I, hold, I hold a huge bag. <laughs> and even in 3D, I'm a very intelligent person. I'm a genetic engineer. Uh, okay, interesting. Uh, you know, I have master's degrees and I have like, lots of different certifications. I'm a very hungry person. So I have a big vat of information. Then I use my gifts of looking and feeling at how someone is 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 mm, digesting the information that I'm coming at them and I, I'm a very good listener so I sit and I listen and I reflect back <laughs> okay I hold space and then I drop little pieces of information so they're like okay they need this information Bloop. they didn't quite get it how about I, I show it from them from the, this perspective cool they got that and now let's go on to the next question and that's what a session with me is like actually it's an hour long of like oh Oh, fuck, shit, <laughs> I get it, holy, I didn't know that before, um, and so I, I love to help people become spiritual mentors because it's, it's fun, it's abundant, um, and it's life-changing, it's life-changing for yourself, and it's life-changing for other people, and that's what, we're, well, that's what we're here to do, right, is to change people's lives. I know I make it sound so simple, <laughs> and it really is, um, so yeah, anyway, Mission mapping <laughs> is for you to understand how you're going to do it. How are you going to change people's, your life, other people's lives, and the world? No big deal. All right, who's next? I think Victoria wanted a card. Yeah, Victoria. Let's do a card for Victoria. What time is it? All right, I do have a client, so... Here you go. You're welcome, Leah. 
And if you wanted to, okay, so here's my little sales pitch now. If you would like to have a session with me, an hour long session, I've been told by countless people is like 10 years of therapy. And one hour session with me is $230. Okay. It's going to be going up next year. Okay. And so if you'd like to book a session with me, please reach out. I would love to. Um, because the aha moment after aha moment after aha moment is going to like catapult your journey again. It's going to have you dig in again. It's going to reignite that flame <laughs> of, of your passion and your purpose. Okay. Um, and then I also run my online programs. And so if you have any questions about what I do, just reach out. Okay. So Victoria portal. Mm -hmm. Doors are opening. Eh, that's hilarious. You decide rewards and wild card. Okay. <laughs> You are a portal to the information that you hold, right? I am a portal to the information I hold and that I have am gathering. We're all gathering information all the time, right? That's why we have senses. <laughs> That's why we live life and we change and we take in information through our senses. <laughs> We're gathering information all the time, so we have more information to draw from, okay? The challenge that comes from that is that through neuro-linguistic programming, right, we, we start to believe, right, when we have patterns in our life, we start to believe that there's nothing else available to us, right? Which is why you talk to other people, and that's why we break these beliefs and these patterns, right? And you sh by showing other people different perspectives, they start to, to see what else is available. Okay, so imagine you're an ant. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just channeling this. Imagine you're an ant, okay, and you are bigger than everyone else, and you're a different color. You're red. You're a big red ant, and everyone else in the ant mound is a little black ant, okay? And through your senses... You're, all you're seeing is black little ants. And so you look at yourself and I'm a big red ant. And so you, after like receiving information and information and information, you've started to realize and decide and you've decided to believe that you are a freak. You are abnormal. Okay. You are different. You are wrong. Everyone like hates you because you're different. Okay, you're a big red ant and everyone's terrified of you. The black ants are terrified of you, right? And so you've decided that I'm scary, I'm wrong, I'm awful, right? <clears throat> then one day what happens is, is the kid decides to, he doesn't want an ant farm anymore and he dumps the ant farm into the earth, right? You, if you don't know you're living in a box, you don't know you're living in a fucking box, right? And then someone shows you that you're living in a box, and they, they dump the box out, and then all of a sudden you're like, holy mackerel, look how many kinds of ants there are. Look, there's my kind of ant. I'm not alone on the earth. Holy mackerel. And I find my people, and then I find other kinds of ants, and then I find worms, and then I find tree roots, and, I, and my mind is blown. <laughs> That's a fun analogy. I'm going to use that again, but maybe refine it. That's what... That's, where'd that come from? Okay. <laughs> portal was the card. Okay, so I just opened my portal and channeled that for you, so I hope that helps. <laughs> You're a portal of information. I'm a portal of information. So, and then the other part of this, this, this card is doors are opening. If we just... See, like, there's opportunity everywhere. Everywhere. Um... Okay, and the next thing that wants to be said is that we all have really unique gifts, really unique. And just because you're a big red ant surrounded by little black ants and you don't think that your gifts are, are valuable, let me tell you, as the boy looking at the ant farm, you're fucking special. I, my red ant is my favorite fucking ant. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hilarious. This is, so, this is a fun conversation. And so what I do is I show you, I put a reflection in front of your mirror, in front of your face, and I say, because I know and I'm collecting information from the spiritual industry and from, uh, from humanity in general, uh, 
what, what, what people need and what people desire and what makes you really different, okay? <laughs> You're so welcome. So what one of my gifts is, especially if you want to be a spiritual entrepreneur, is here is your special gift. Oh, I didn't know it was special. I'm telling you it's special. It's not special. It's special. <laughs> and let's, let's, let's start using it to, to change people's lives. And then what we do together, we use it on your clients, right? Attracting your clients to, to on those clients. And then you start to realize, because you're, you're gaining and gathering new information, oh, no one else is doing this. It is special. I thought that everyone could do this. I hear this all the time. I didn't know that that was special. I have someone who's literally sitting on this call who can feel a crystal store from like blocks and blocks and blocks away. Not everyone can do that, Brandon. <laughs> so like, right? <laughs> so my question for you, Victoria, is, right, what, what makes you special? What makes you different? You might not be able to see it, but. I'd love to reflect for you to show you how different it is and how you can use it to create financial abundance. And doors are opening. So there's opportunities everywhere, okay? There's opportunities everywhere for you to use your gifts. And I hate this word gifts because no one gave it to you. They are skills you have been developing over millennia. They're not gifts, okay? But gifts it, it is because of humans. Um, mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, last thing is we can open portals, yeah? <laughs> and so what we can do is decide that I want to use my gifts to make financial abundance. Open a portal and do it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Last little thing here is like I am a door and I have opened myself to you and I'm offering you opportunities. It's, your, it's, it's up to you to, to see the value in yourself and walk through. Okay, that's the challenge. Cool. Yay. All right. How's that? What time is it? Okay. I got time for one more. Has anything I has anything I said kind of like dropped in? I don't know. Like for who was that ant analogy? That was good. Anyone? Anyone want a card? Because if not, then I will go and I will drink water. I'm not seeing uh, comments coming through now. So I'll do, I'll pull one more just to close down the session. And I'm just going to say thank you to all of my beings, all of your beings, all of, all of yourselves. Oh, so we all want cards now. <laughs> okay. All right, Hannah. Hmm. Huh. That's funny. I was thinking about this card this earlier. Um, activated earth. Power places, ley lines, trust where you're led. <clears throat> so people ask me, I travel a lot, right? And I drive up and down Canada. <laughs> and I've started to right, put myself out there to do in-person retreats because I, I feel like I'm being called places. And, and I'm... I am more of a, a, a responder. I like, I'm a generator of human design, right? So I like to respond. And so I have an idea. I throw it out there to see what comes back to me and I respond to it. Um, and so I've started asking people like, hey, do you want me to come? Who wants me to come? To, to see who gets tr like triggered, resonated, like, oh, I want you to come. And then what I've been noticing, right, is that the UK really needs me right now. Because a lot of people in the UK are like, me, me, me. So I'm going to be going to the UK and, and Europe, right? And so I was thinking about this as I drive up and down and around and I just, and, I, and I'm just, I'm, I'm taking where I'm, I'm drawn and I go where I'm drawn because I have the freedom to do it. <laughs> Become a spiritual entrepreneur. <laughs> okay. Um, so what this card is saying is like, please, please, please trust the places where you're drawn, 
okay because humans like i was saying we are we do influence gaia we have I can't remember the the specific number, but we are walking balls of electricity, okay? One cell holds like, oh, far out, I can't remember the, so, but one cell holds a bunch of electricity, okay? And we are made up of seven trillion cells. So we are walking like nuclear power, like factories. We are walking nuclear explosions. So... <laughs> So we affect our external reality in more ways than just that, by the way. But anyway, <laughs> okay, you want me to tell them that? Jeez, okay. <laughs> We're also conscious beings, yeah? And nothing nothing exists until it is observed, okay? That's quantum That's quantum physics, um, the observer effect, say? So, so by a conscious being observing something, it collapses it into physicality. It collapses it into the third dimension. Okay, so by trusting where you're drawn, clearly you are meant to be activating the earth for a reason. We don't need to know the reason. And or we're meant to be, we're meant to see something and collapse it into physicality. Okay, because different, oh, praise you, because, because we all have different perspectives. I hope that everyone's watched this whole thing. And if you haven't watched it back. The whole thing. It's the the start and the, I didn't know where I was going, but the, 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 the conclusion of this session is fucking elegant and genius. Because we all have different perspectives, we see different fucking things, right? And because of that, that's part of healing is removing the distortion so that you can see clearly, right? So that we remove the beliefs that I'm, I'm the big ant and I'm weird, right? But if the big ant believe so deeply that he was alone on the earth even when the kid dumped him out he still wouldn't see the other ants that's the point of healing so that when you're dumped out you can see it all <laughs> and by seeing it all you collapse different things into physicality and we need that now Do you, are you are you getting me are you feeling me I'm going to I'm going to digest what I've just channeled today and then come at it from a different perspective but I feel like for me that's genius. Thank you. Does anyone have questions about what I've just said? Please please give me questions or something to respond to to, to just to see I don't I have no idea what you're talking about Haley or holy fuck Haley I understand what you're talking about. Because then I can understand your perspective and then shift my perspective. Do you, do you get me? I'm just, I mean, let me just channel for a second. I mm know, -hmm. oh, there's a big topic. No, I think I'm just going to marinate on that. <laughs> yeah, cool. Okay, thank you, everyone. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do because I have a I have a client coming up here. I'm just going to marinate on on that piece of information that I just downloaded for you from you by you. So thank you. Uh and then I'm going to write about it. So thank you for see. Ha! Here's the last bit. You guys observing me brought something new into the third dimension. What you just witnessed is completely new information. And said in a completely different way. <laughs> That's what is available to you. Okay. I love you so much. Thank you. Please do reach out to me. Just DM me if you have any questions, follow-ups. I want, I want to talk to you. I actually want to talk to you to understand how you ingested and digested that information. Okay? I'm going to put the replay on my YouTube so you can head over there. And please subscribe. Love you. See you later. Bye.